The study of the many and common aspects of the cultural environment, as well as their repercussions on human behavior, has become more important in modern social anthropology. Anthropology and the Abnormal, by Ruth Benedict, examines questions of normalcy, ethics, and the use of these notions in historical contexts in depth. According to ethical relativism, there is no such thing as right or wrong, everything is dependent on one's culture, experience, and historical context. Benedict claims that faith determines morality, implying that religion determines whether or not something is moral. Something as fundamental as ethics cannot be expressed just in terms of civilization or culture. Culture shapes normalcy as well. If an adult was raised according to the reasons and standards of any of these civilizations, he would be considered aberrant if he were to be transplanted into modern society. He have to deal with the mental anguish of socially inept folks. In his own culture, however, he is the backbone of society, the product of socially instilled values. Benedict expresses this viewpoint by drawing on a variety of cultures and traditions. According to her, diffusion and catalepsy are two mystical traits that are greatly prized and adored in many countries. Cultural diversity is well known, and it may be shown in a variety of ways, including faith and marriage. Ruth claims that the general utility of a culture determines normalcy mentally. Finally, Benedict frequently addresses the audience in order to observe both points of view without personally being present. Both issues are ignored since what is socially acceptable in our culture and throughout the world is the same. Ruth claims that there is no comprehensive answer to the question of what is good and wrong. It is essentially determined by upbringing, background, and historical context. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out!